All right. One thing that happens to me pretty much every time I take Benadryl is the next morning I get a dry mouth. My mouth is completely dry. Do you ever feel this way? By the way, write in the comments if you take Benadryl. Remember, uh, Benadryl is a brand, okay? It's a brand name for something called diphenhydramine. Diphenhydramine really is the medication I'm talking about in this video. I'm giving you potential side effects of it. Many of us know this medication in one of the brand names uh, called Benadryl, but there are other brands of diphenhydramine as well. So when I use the word Benadryl, I'm not trying to hate on Benadryl. Well, it's the brand, one brand. I'm really talking about diphenhydramine hydramine, uh, the antihistamine medication that is uh, the generic name, okay? But that dry mouth, oh my gosh, it's so annoying. Other things that uh, Benadryl can cause, sometimes people, and this happens to me too whenever I take it, I feel really foggy the next day. I feel like kind of like just fuzzy. Does this ever happen to you? That sort of fuzziness, you feel kind of like hung over, you feel like uh, like foggy the next day. It's a very common side effect or symptom, so you got to be aware of this. Uh, the other thing is sometimes it can actually cause memory problems in people, by the way. I think this is really interesting. But let's get uh, to some of the more problematic side effects. And by the way, stay with me because not only am I going to talk about the side effects, uh, but I'm also going to talk about Benadryl for sleep, okay? That is a really important thing. Do not turn this video off because because many of you wonder if you can take Benadryl for sleep, if you can take it every night, I'm going to answer that question. All right. By the way, we know that Benadryl, which is the brand name, one of the brand names for diphenhydramine is used to treat seasonal allergies, allergic uh, reactions, uh, motion sickness, so many other things, right? And it's a medication I recommend most of us have in our medicine closet. It is not bad. And by the way, just because I'm telling you potentially negative side effects or problematic side effects of diphenhydramine does not mean I'm saying not to take it. With any medication supplement by vitamin, et cetera. We have to weigh the, vis, uh, the risk versus the benefits. It is always a balance and you got to talk with your doctor about what's right for you. All right. Other side effects besides some of the ones that I mentioned also, it can make you dizzy. It's why I'm very cautious about using Benadryl and other antihistamines uh, such as Benadryl or diphenhydramine in elderly folks, because it can make you dizzy and kind of sometimes off balance, off kilter, et cetera. Uh, don't like that. Also can cause blurry vision. And remember, as we get older, things like blurry vision, dizziness, um, all that kind of stuff can increase the risk of falls in people as we get older. So it's definitely a big caution item uh, with us doctors and our patients. It can also, though, cause um, urinary retention, meaning you have problems urinating, but also can cause constipation, believe it or not. Those two things can happen. A rare uh, potential side effect is something called acute angle closure glaucoma. That can be a medical emergency. That's an eye condition, glaucoma. Those are some of the more common, not the glaucoma, but the others are some of the more common symptoms. I know know you're saying, why didn't she mention drowsiness? We're here. That's what we're talking about right now. By the way, if you've not written in the comments, if you use Benadryl or diphenhydramine and antihistamine like that, please do. By the way, antihistamines work by blocking histamine. That is how they work. By the way, I'm Dr. Jen. I don't even think I introduced myself, but hi. All right. So now let's talk about the drowsiness. Okay. Other side effects is drowsiness. And in some cases, it's you know, if you're really, really sick and you're taking one of these over-the-counter medications and it's got this diphenhydramine in it, sometimes when I've been really, really sick, it's helped me like sleep and it's just helped help give me relief along with the other ingredients in it. But this is the thing. Some people actually use diphenhydramine or Benadryl to help them sleep at night because they just can't sleep. Some people do this every now and then. Some people do this all the time. Let me give you a couple thoughts about this, okay? Now, Benadryl or diphenhydramine will make very likely make you drowsy. However, there are some issues. Just because it makes you sleepy doesn't mean that the sleep is good quality sleep or the best sleep. The other thing is you can build up, and many people build up a tolerance to this medication, meaning you need more and more and more for it to work. The other thing is the other side effects that I mentioned, the feeling foggy the next day, um, the sort of being off balance, dizziness, and things like that. Um, the bottom line here is that taking Benadryl for sleep really it's not a substitute for talking to your doctor about the fact that you're having problems sleeping and finding some really great evidence-based uh, based ways to get to sleep okay it's it's not a great band-aid to use and yes sometimes people do it but do I recommend using Benadryl to sleep every night no do I recommend Benadryl using Benadryl to sleep a lot absolutely not no I, I don't recommend it that way mm -mm, no but uh, if you have problems sleeping, I recommend you see your doctor because we need to get to the underlying cause of why you're not able to sleep.
Okay, that's really the best thing to do here. All right. And of course, there are potential side effects like the ones that I have mentioned. Let me know if you take Benadryl. Let me know if anyone in your family does your experiences. Again, I am not your doctor. You got to talk to your doctor about this stuff. You and your doctor have to decide whether taking Benadryl is right for you or rather diphenhydramine Benadryl just being one um, of the brands, okay? You've got to decide for yourself if uh, and your doctor if this is right for you guys. I'm Dr. Jen. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I'm on Facebook. Uh, like my page, TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, threads, you name it. Follow me there and uh, go sign up for my free health newsletter at drjencarlo.com. Love y'all.